Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Nintendo eShop on your Nintendo Switch from a different region, so like Japan or Europe, where sometimes they get games first or they get games exclusives. Now that the Nintendo Switch is region free, you can play any game. The problem is that you have to have a Nintendo eShop from that region in order to be able to download that game. Um, and the way I have done things, um, I have obviously created a Nintendo eShop from, let's say, Japan, but in order to buy the game from there, I can't just add my credit card because it's going to be considered fraud. Or I guess it's going to, the system's going to think it's fraud because my credit card is US mailing address and it's not Japan mailing address. So what I did, um, I went to playasia.com, bought a digital code for Japan eShop, received it on my email, and then added the, the code, the redeem code, into the Nintendo Japan eShop so that I can buy the game that I was trying to. So in this, uh, I'm going to use an example on this video to create everything from beginning to end. Uh, so... Stay tuned, I'm going to be going back and forward between the switch and my computer so you guys can see fully everything. Alrighty, so on my Nintendo eShop, so this is my Nintendo eShop, um, I have quite a few games. So I have all these games right here and I really don't play any of them. <laughs> to be honest, I'm waiting for Smash. Uh, I did play Fallout Shelter on my mobile phone. It's a really good game and it's free so you guys should play it. Fortnite, I have mixed feelings, um, but anyways, let's get back to the main purpose of the video. So the Nintendo eShop, um, if you notice here, I have a lot of accounts. So this is my actual account, you know, black independent female. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not black or a female. Anyways, <laughs> uh, here is a guest, uh, one of my friends, and then this is the guest account for anyone that likes to play on the Switch. Over here we have the Nintendo Europe, uh, so anytime you want to use that, I use that and then over here we have Nintendo Japan and uh, today I'm going to be downloading, uh, downloading another Nintendo of Europe the UK alright so let's go back let's go from this screen into the next screen so that I can show you how to do everything online we're going to be creating a Google account and then a Nintendo account Alright guys, we're in the MacBook and we are about to create a Google account for Gmail account. You can use Yahoo, Hotmail, whatever email you prefer to use. I am making a brand new one because I don't want it to be linked to my uh, personal one that I'm using for my US Nintendo eShop. So what we're going to do, we're going to, I guess, sign in, create account, and remember the email account and the password so that if you ever need to go back and forth you have that information so we're going to call ourselves Robert Robertson and this is going to be Nintendo Robert Nintendo Robert at gmail.com password is going to be howdy friend one howdy friend one hopefully it goes through oh lord jesus uh, 305, we're just going to add that. Next, Nintendo Robert 305. Uh, month of birthday, January 1st. We're going to use 1990. And Google does not need to know my gender. How oh, dare they? Then we're going to accept. Alright, so now we are on our email. Come on, Gmail. Alright, so this is our Gmail account. Hello, Robert. Click there because we don't want that, whatever. Now, we have our email done. Now we're going to go to Nintendo.com. And we need to change the region to the UK. Where is it? Okay, right here. We're going to create sign in slash register. 
create a Nintendo account. We're gonna use the same information. Same information. 1990, just because, no reason. Nickname, so we're gonna use Nintendo Robert 305. I guess we can just use Robert 305. Oh, Robert. Robot305 email. So we're gonna do Nintendo Robert305 at gmail.com. Password how that we need to use a cap. Howdy friend one. Howdy friend. Oh, I don't think I said that right. One did it birth? Did it birth? Gender. <clears throat> UK, where's the UK? Ah, uh, shit. Let's do. I don't know what I did on this. Guess we can do Norway. Sure, whatever. Alright, we're gonna accept this. Submit. Not now. So now it's gonna send an email to your email for account verifications and it's my account code right here is 4072 4072 verify done all right now we're gonna go to um, the game the nintendo switch all right guys so now we are gonna create a new character. I mean a new profile profile, I'm sorry. We're gonna go to users add user. We're gonna select a character, I don't know which one. Let's do this one. Ha ha ha. There we go. I'm gonna call it Nintendo Europe 8. I don't know. One of those names. Neo 8. We're gonna sign in. Sign in with email. Then it was Nintendo. Robert. Um, Three oh five. Whoa. Gmail dot com. We need to have shortcuts for this. Alright, password, the caps. How to brand <laughs> one. Sign it. Please go through. Please go through. Alright, so we're signed in now. Scroll all the way down, just all the promotions, confirm, and that's about it on that. So now we're going to go to the Nintendo eShop so that you can see US version, obviously you know what that looks like if you're looking at this, from the US obviously. So recent releases you have Bloons, TD5, Fortnite, and Hollow Knight. And Hollow Knight is a game we're going to be downloading just because, I don't know. <laughs> it looks cool. Alright, so if we go into the new account that we created, Ni8. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to. Skip this feature, enter, 
type in the password again. It should be a different menu. And it is Fortnite, Holloway, and then that. Um, if you guys remember on the first, on the US version, the first game was uh, Bloom TD5. So, anyway, so the question, and then you see the prices are different based on the currencies. Um, so, the question is now how do you add money into your account? So, you can't just add your personal credit card because it might most likely is not going to go through because like I said it's going to be considered fraud since you're using a US mailing address versus a Europe address so what we're going to do now I'm going to switch it over we're going to go to playasia.com where I'm going to buy a digital code for the UK um, and then we'll come back over here redeem the code and then use those funds to pay for the game um, in this account but I'm not going to use this account, I'm going to use my other account that I actually did use since I have a few funds left to cover the, the game purchase. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so we're back. Uh, I'm going to use a different browser to go to the PlayAsia. PlayAsia.com So, I'm going to sign in. Well, before I do that, so if you go to Play Asia, you scroll down, you can see that you know this website tells you whatever you need in a different region. So like iTunes gift card for Japan uh, and all stuff like this. So if you go to Digital Codes, so you have the PlayStation as well, you have Nintendo, you have Xbox. Google all different regions because you know we have we have to do what we have to do so I'm gonna sign in I'm gonna sign in with my account uh, what is the password I think it's this yes so I'm gonna go back to play Asia this is just your account so I'm gonna go to digital codes Nintendo eShop then I'm gonna scroll down to do it by UK and I'm gonna buy so if you notice um, you do pay a little bit extra but it's also the difference as well so this one is 15 versus $23.99 so this is the one I'm gonna buy uh, proceed checkout and it tells you right here make sure digital codes you're buying are for the right region because refunds or replacements are not available Alright guys, so on this screen obviously it tells you the summary, the payment reference number, the description, the amount. You're going to enter all your card information and then go through. And then once you enter all this, it's going to send you an, it's going to send you two emails. One email is just like a summary of what took place, the purchase. And then the next one is the one that's going to have your actual code so you can use that code on the eShop. Alright guys, so my, I, I submitted my credit card information and the payment went through. So here's the account. I mean, here's back on the playasia.com screen, and it's it gives you the digital code. So we're gonna enter this code on the Nintendo eShop, and we'll go from there. And then we'll download the game, and then that will be the conclusion. All right, guys. So we're back on the Nintendo eShop. This is the one that I created for you guys. I am gonna exit this one because that's not the one I use. So I'm gonna go to the one I use, which is this one. But obviously. Zelda, Princess Zelda. And we're gonna go to redeem code. Alright. So if you notice, Nintendo blocked out like the zero that looks similar to the. I mean, the O that looks similar to the zero, which is really nice so it doesn't confuse people. Uh, four or two. Um, two. H two Y Q P Y Q P not Y Q S P Y Q 
QSQ, oh lord, YQSQ, FSP. Alright guys, so this will be another code that we bought on PlayStation.com to use on a Nintendo eShop from a different region. And it says funds to add, 15 pounds for euros, whatever the case might be. Add it, 15 to your funds. So if we go back over here to my account, now I have 20.39 because I had a little previous and then obviously my uh, points as well. So we're going to go to the actual download. We're going to go to download this cute game. Where's the cute? Look at that. Look at that art. Proceed to purchase. Agree. Purchase. Close. And it's downloading, guys. Hello. And this is all going to be also based on your speed. So if you're doing it via Wi Fi or wired Ethernet, then obviously it's going to be faster. And that's about it. Um, I played, I have actually bought a few from Japan, a few from Europe. But yeah, guys, so this is about it um, as far as how you buy games from other Nintendo eShop regions in order to buy the games. Obviously, this game Hollow Knight came out everywhere, but I use this as an example for you guys to see how to do it. Uh, please leave comments, likes on the video, and please be respectful of this video. I'm only helping you guys. I'm not here to, you know, tell you <laughs> how to live your life. This is just my experience that I have gone through, and I want to share it with you guys. Uh, thank you.